come to me with a problem that you don't have a solution for. Okay? I don't care how bad the solution is, but you just coming and saying, hey, things are messed up versus, hey, this is messed up, but this is what I think in my world would help the, the problem. Again, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, all the guys, no, none of those guys stop the match, walk out there, put your body parts in a certain position and be like, all right, ref, we're good. Made the adjustment. Go. Uh. Who makes the adjustment in a match? You. So it's good to say, okay, I'm struggling here. Coach, what's up? Talk to me. Versus, I'm struggling here. I think this is what I feel like I should do. Coach, talk to me. Because that's the mindset that you have to have when you compete. When you wrestle, when you have a job, when you're managing people, when you get married, when your kids are wilding out, when they're teenagers. It is problem-solving skills. Okay? And you either problem-solve the right way or the correct way or the best way you can and you get pretty good results or you just go, Mom, what did you do to me when I screwed up 37 years ago when the world was completely different? And she's going to give you some old school remedy and then you're going to try and it's not going to work. Right? you got to be in the now. So a couple questions. Do I go to a cradle here? Do I drop down to the ankle here? Well, we've already talked about low on the leg. The further I go down his leg, is he more flexible or less flexible? More, more flexible. So do we want to be high on the leg or low on the leg? High. Right. So you guys solved that problem all by yourself. I didn't have to answer that question. Now, cradle. All right. Or splitting my power is like the way I like to refer to it. Anytime I got two hands, one leg, and then I got one hand, one leg, I just split my power in half. Now, if the opposite hand's doing something important, that's okay. But I got to establish risk factor. Anytime I make an adjustment, my risk factor goes up or down or maybe stays the same. So I got to think about this. I get to this position, I'm driving low, I'm above the knee, real good stuff. All right? Now I'm going to let go and I'm going to stretch myself out to get this cradle. Now, again, that might be what the score is in the match, how much time you have in the match, how good you feel with your cradle series. Is this head close or far? Am I diving to it or can I hook it and work my way to a nice tight grip? you got to start establishing risk, risk factor as you change off, all right? So the more you get to these positions, the more you guys got to start realizing what adjustments am I going to make as I progress through my position. Because I'm taking his attack, he feels like he's in the driver's seat. Not anymore. I'm in the driver's seat, okay? Now, he might be staying on my leg, all right? I got to get weight on my foot. I got to start wrestling here. Maybe I come inside. Okay? Maybe I drag right here. All I'm trying to do is get into his hip. I'm trying to take him to the mat. He might try to re-swim and come back and get his knees back up under him. All right? So this is what I want to do. I want this guy to be 25% resistance on the high crotch. I, don't want, I should win every single time, but I want you guys to start feeling what your reaction is going to be. And if your reaction is technically wrong, don't worry about it. We can fix it. But I want you to get feel and reps there. Good? 25%. I shouldn't see anybody that's under attack losing. I should see good position, and then us have to kind of feel our way through it. A flare double is a pretty good solution. Keep your feet running, drive with your head. But I want you guys to get where you're comfortable. Go! About a minute and a half, two minutes, then we'll move on. <laughs>